Precision Remote Control. To better manage your chronic pain with Boston Scientific Stimulator, it's important that you know how to use the remote control. This short video will teach you how to use the remote control correctly. The video should not be viewed as a substitute or shortcut for reading the patient's system handbook. You should always read and fully understand the contents of the handbook before using your Boston Scientific Precision Plus remote control. The remote control allows you to control the level or strength of stimulation at the touch of a button. Before we show you how to use the remote control, let's start by quickly explaining the various buttons. At the bottom of the remote, you'll find the stimulation unit's on-off button. The arrow buttons on the face of the unit have two functions. The up arrow button is used to turn stimulation up or to start a new program. And the down arrow can be used to turn stimulation down or to save a program. The P button is the program button. It is mainly used to change programs. Later in the video, we will show you how to change programs in more detail. Finally, there's the button with the image of a person on it. This is the area button. It is mainly used for advanced functions in the remote control and to select different options on the remote control. Here are some basic instructions for getting started with your precision remote control. First, insert three AAA batteries into the back of your remote control. Next, press and hold the P button until the screen reads Release P to Unlock. Simply press the up or down arrows to increase and decrease stimulation. Remember, any time you want to turn stimulation on or off, just press the on-off button. Your Precision Plus system can also store various stimulation settings, called programs, in its memory. Once stored, your remote control lets you select these programs quickly and at any time. From the level screen, press the P button once to access your programs, and then a second time to cycle through them. When you see the program you want, press the up arrow button to start highlighted program. Don't be alarmed if the display screen suddenly goes blank. This happens when the remote control is not used for a minute or so. To wake it from sleep mode, press any button except the on-off button, and the remote control will display a screen, instructing you to unlock the remote control. Then press and hold the P button until you see the message, Release P to Unlock. Communicating with the stimulator. In the upper right corner of the display, the remote control shows the signal strength between it and the stimulator. Unlike a TV remote where you point it directly at your TV, your precision remote control works best when directly facing your implant. Look at it as if the two devices are having a face-to-face -face conversation. Pointing the top of the remote directly at the implant will result in poor communication between the two devices. The signal strength may also change depending on the remote control's position. Check your signal strength indicator for optimal communication. If for some reason the signal between the two becomes weak, you may see a screen that reads, Searching. If this happens, try repositioning your remote control. Or to try again, press the P button or the area button to cancel. If you don't see any signal bars on the screen, move the remote control closer to your implant. Even without any signal bars on the screen, you may still have communication with your implant. 
though at a very weak level. With one or two bars, there is still adequate communication. When you have three or four signal bars, you know the remote control has achieved optimum communication. If your remote is not responding, or if you receive a no response message, place your remote control closer to the stimulator. If you're charging and get this response, turn off your charger. The stimulator cannot communicate with the remote when it's charging. If your remote still does not respond, try changing the AAA batteries and avoid sources of interference, such as televisions and computer monitors. If you're still having problems after taking these steps, please call our patient care line. Checking battery status of the stimulator. The remote control also has an easy view stimulator battery charge status graphic on the level screen, as well as messages to tell you of the battery's condition. All of these messages are explained in the patient system handbook. We hope this Boston Scientific Precision Plus remote control video has been helpful. Please remember to also read your remote control handbook. If you have additional questions, please call the patient support line. From all of us at Boston Scientific, thank you.